With NVIDIA's new driver release of the 555.58 driver, NVIDIA actually might be good on the Linux desktop right now, basically. Uh, if you're able to use the 555.58 driver, which is such a tongue twister, my god, why the hell did the NVIDIA developers decide to name it that driver? <laughs> it's a bit uh, of a tongue twister, but besides that, uh, you know, uh, you can use this driver very soon, and it is a pretty good experience on the Wayland desktop side of things, since this driver does include explicit sync on uh, Plasma uh, 6.1 and then on GNOME 46.1, you can use explicit sync with the driver uh, with EGL, which is what is used um, on the Wayland side with NVIDIA. And that is what I'm going to talk about in today's video, is about using the uh, you know, NVIDIA 555.58 driver on my RTX 2060 and explaining some of the issues that I had with it and some of the improvements that it has made to, uh, you know, where you can use the Wayland desktop now basically perfectly fine and have like no problems only with a couple little things um, missing that, you know, like AMD cards or Intel cards have. So the first part I'm going to talk about is the desktop experience with Wayland with this driver. So of course you're going to need the 555.58 driver and then a desktop environment like Plasma 6.1 or GNOME 46.1. And so far with the desktop experience, it is on par with the NVK driver because I decided to test the NVK driver a couple days ago and the desktop experience is just a lot better with NVK versus the 550 NVIDIA driver. But with the newest NVIDIA driver, uh, it is a really good experience on Wayland. I don't have any stutters or any like uh, weird animation issues on the Plasma desktop. I know some, uh, some people in the comments were having issues with stutters and stuff like that. I don't know. I didn't have those problems when using it. I, I had no issues when it came to animations. If anyone else is using the 555 driver, definitely comment down below if you do get those issues and port it to a bug report on the NVIDIA forum so that it can get fixed. Uh, but for me, when using uh, you know, my RTX 2060, uh, there was no problems with the newest NVIDIA driver under Wayland. It was a really, really you know, good experience. Uh, the only thing that was missing uh, that I can't use is uh, VR slash FreeSync. So uh, you can only use FreeSync on a single monitor. If you have multiple monitors plugged in, uh, FreeSync will be turned off basically on, on the NVIDIA card. If you are using an AMD card or an Intel card, you can use FreeSync uh, easily or with multi monitors uh, installed but on NVIDIA you can only have one monitor plugged in which is quite confusing I don't know why the NVIDIA de uh, developers decided to create it like that uh, hopefully though they do improve that and they do bring support for FreeSync with multi monitors because it is an important feature especially under Wayland because under Wayland it uses that type of VSync and uh, when you're playing games uh, with that VSync and if you're not outputting your refresh rate of your monitor, uh, it feels like crap. Uh, but if you have VR slash FreeSync enabled, then it doesn't feel like crap and it feels nice and responsive, which is what we want. Uh, but you, you can only use it with a single monitor, which I did test. I tested different games and I unplugged my monitor and then replugged it back in and made sure that I only, I only had one monitor plugged in uh, that had FreeSync support. And I did feel the difference when it came to the latency when moving my, you know, my character around in like Overwatch 2, for example. And uh, yeah, so hopefully Hopefully VR gets fixed, but besides that, uh, yeah, the desktop experience is really good under Wayland with the NVIDIA, newest NVIDIA driver. The next one is gaming on Linux with NVIDIA, and uh, this is going to be under Wayland also, and it is a good experience with that newest driver. Uh, I can play the majority of my games without problems. The only thing is I don't have FreeSync, uh, which isn't really that big of an issue. I mean, it is a problem because you have to use like uh, the mailbox VSync that Wayland uses, and it does, doesn't really feel that good versus my AMD card like I know when I plugged my AMD GPU back in I noticed a instant difference when it came to you know aiming around and Wayland in a game like the finals for example or Overwatch or uh, you know plenty of other games that I did test but besides that you know like uh, 
when it comes to like frame timing and FPS, uh, there was no issues necessarily. I mean, this GPU, I've been using it for since like 2019 and it's starting to age. I've noticed that it gets extremely hot now and it's probably because of the thermal paste inside of the card probably starting to wear off. Uh, so my GPU has to like basically blast its fans just to keep the temperature down. But besides that, uh, you know, gaming under the newest driver uh, on like Plasma 6.1 or if you tried it with GNOME 46.1, it is a really uh, good experience besides not having you know, things like FreeSync, for example. Now, I did notice that there is some games that don't work uh, with the NVIDIA card, but they do work on my AMD GPU. And those were uh, Halo Infinite, for example. That has been a long, long uh, issue with the NVIDIA drivers on Linux where Halo Infinite got supported and uh, it had terrible FPS and frame timing. I did a benchmark on Halo Infinite, which you can go find on my YouTube channel right now. If you go back last year, I had a benchmark of Halo Infinite on this card uh, and the frame timing was absolutely atrocious. It was like 30 to 40 FPS and the frame timing was terrible. Uh, but now when I tried it, I tried to launch Halo Infinite on the newest driver. It decides to freeze when it tries to uh, load up the game. So when you're going through that bar, uh, little bar that loads, uh, it decides to get like halfway and then it freezes freezes and then uh, that's it basically it just crashes so that's one game that I've noticed that doesn't work properly on my NVIDIA card yet and I know there's a launch command that you can use to fix it and I did try that cert um, launch command it was like a, a Vulkan extension launch command and it didn't solve the problem so if anyone you know has uh, knowledge about this game running on an NVIDIA card on the Linux definitely comment down below so then I can you know get it working so I would like to see if my FPS is fixed on this card because you know it was like 30 to 30 to 40 fps the frame timing was horrible uh but on windows you know i could get over like 120 fps in that game on like medium settings now the other game i experienced uh, was Helldivers 2 and uh that game decided to launch you know perfectly fine uh, it was working but as soon as you tab out and try to tab back in it decides to black screen then it freezes then x whalen decides to crash the whole desktop so i thought that was really cool that that uh happened you know uh while on AMD, it works perfectly fine. Uh, so hopefully, you know, NVIDIA does solve those two games that I had issues with because the majority, all the other games that I tested, they worked perfectly fine. Full screen, uh, borderless window, whatever if I set it as, whatever graphic settings, you know, they all worked really well. Things like uh, Reflex also got detected in like the finals, for example. Uh, that worked perfectly fine with, with plus boost turned on, all worked. Uh, it was just those two games that didn't work. So you may be thinking, you know, why uh, couldn't you use Wayland before on an NVIDIA GPU? Well, it was because of not having things like explicit sync and EGL supported. So uh, when you use Wayland and there's certain application and games that are running, uh, you need something to like interact or like sync properly with the different hardware. This is like a basic idea of it. And there's two options that you can do as like a developer or whatever to implement. And one is explicit sync and then implicit sync. And explicit sync is the new the new one that we should be using and uh, it's not supported on the NVIDIA driver. Neither uh, implicit sync either. So you had this uh, problem where you try to run Wayland and you try to run different apps that require this type of syncing and you would have all these weird issues like flickering on certain games and apps. Like for example, like Google Chrome had a big flicker glitchiness issue. And then, you know, certain, I remember when I launched um, Cyberpunk 2077 on the 5.5, 50 driver a couple of weeks ago and uh, it had a huge like flicker flickering problems within like the game uh, so now that explicit sync is supported in the driver all those problems are fixed now and you can actually use the Wayland desktop on an Nvidia card and have you know multi refresh rates and have no problem which is really good it's what we want to see as we are trying to move to Wayland, and that's a very you know, important thing in the Linux desktop space is moving to Wayland because it has you know more features like HDR, like multi-monitor refresh rates, like things like uh, FreeSync. I know like G-Sync and like I think FreeSync is supported on X11, uh, but uh, when it comes to you know using like the desktop setting feature, it's just a lot more easier to enable it in Wayland, and it just makes things a lot more easier for the user 
And so now that those things are supported, you can you can just now use your NVIDIA card on Wayland. And the only thing that is missing really is uh, FreeSync. Now NVIDIA does support uh, the new presentation mode for screen tearing, uh, which if you don't know what that means, it's just like for it to interact with the atomic API that's in the Linux kernel. So then uh, Wayland can basically just instantly do the next frame and it doesn't need to like do it properly as like a vsync to your like refresh rate or whatever so like every frame is perfect uh so you, now basically what we have to wait for is uh the linux desktop environments that we have like plasma and gnome uh, need to support screen tearing uh, in the desktop side of things so then we can actually use screen tearing now i know there is screen tearing in plasma right now as a feature but it actually doesn't work properly and hasn't been working properly since like I think 5.27 because the KDE developers decided to reti retire the old API that they used for screen tearing uh, and there's this new one uh, that we're all waiting for and screen tearing will be supported on like the Plasma desktop in Plasma 6.2 uh, which won't be coming out in the next like couple of months from now I think so we're gonna have to wait for that if you want screen tearing uh, or you know especially if you're using an NVIDIA card you can't use FreeSync with multi-monitor refresh Right. So this can be a bit of a bummer for some people if you want to have a responsive system when you're playing video games. Uh, that might be a bit of an issue for you because you don't have FreeSync with multi-monitor um, multi monitors plugged in and then you don't have screen tearing either. So then your experience when it comes to playing like competitive FPS shooters might be a bit less than like let's say someone who has an AMD card who's using Wayland because they get FreeSync supported on you know, multi-monitor setups. So my conclusion is that, uh, you know, this NVIDIA driver is really good, no doubt about it. It is a really good driver and it, it finally brings lots of NVIDIA users. They're able to actually use Wayland on the desktop now and have a decent experience when it comes to using the desktop and playing, you know, different games. And we can finally like kind of like move on from this whole nvidia wayland problem where there's only like some missing features that are not necessarily like big important things like explicit sync for example uh, but it's just you know nvidia users are able to actually use wayland now we can finally focus on more important things like the developers can focus on bringing things like free sync for nvidia users on wayland or you know focusing more on hdr or focusing on you know getting screen tearing working or focusing on things like wine Wayland. What I also do hope is that NVK does improve their driver also because I would like it if you know uh, NVK was the main driver that was actually good at what it's trying to do and it seems like that is the case it is improving pretty rapidly I would say when it comes to the Vulkan extensions they want to get supported in the driver so then the gaming experience is a lot better uh, so for me I would like to use NVK uh, but for now you're gonna have to use the proprietary driver which for some people is perfectly fine there's like no issue uh, with that but for me i would like to use nvk because it's just going to make it a lot more easier for certain companies that want to like collaborate and, and implement new features into the nvk driver um, so if you guys you know did enjoy this video definitely can give it a like you definitely can subscribe to the channel uh, we are really close to 5,000 subscribers which is awesome and uh, you know thank you to my members also I'll show a screenshot of them because you know they're awesome they, they pay monthly to me I appreciate uh, you guys doing that every month and I will see you guys in the next video peace